Italy has a unique gastronomic biodiversity, with the largest number of agri-food products bearing a designation of both origin and geography acknowledged by the European Union. Under each of these products lies a history of culture, tradition and conveying ancient knowledge tied to the many different territories, which must be recognized and learned. Italian food and products, which are well loved globally, are often imitated, leading to the use of photos, colors and geographical references that bring our peninsula to mind. This also happens with words that are Italian in appearance, but were actually created abroad to evoke the unique flavors of our country. This phenomenon is called Italian sounding, and its aim is to refer to the reputation and fame of Italian cuisine all over the world. The most widespread linguistic training technique is the creation of portmanteaus, created by merging two different words like, for example burricotta, from the union of burrata and ricotta, and mozzafina, which combines mozzarella with the adjective fina, probably used as a synonym for filante, stringy. A curious term was added more recently, pascoatuone, a cross between Columba and panettone. Pascoatuone cakes were sold on the shelves of Brazilian supermarkets, but not only. This particular case goes as far as to distort the holiday calendar by combining Easter and Christmas in a single word, and dessert. Burricotta, mozzafina, Burricotta, mozzafina and pascoatuone are real pseudo-Italianisms, namely words that don't exist in the field of Italian linguistics, but have been specially coined to appear Italian. Other examples are tutti frutti, which refers to gelato misto, mixed ice cream, all over the world, and compounds with a more limited circulation, like cafeciao, a German brand of coffee. There is also the better known term, Fredocchino, which is a sort of cold cappuccino. Consequently, the sound of these words is similar to the corresponding Italian terms, but the product they refer to is often anything but select. Further example include Borgonzola, a combination of Borgo and Gorgonzola, and Fontiago, a cross between Fantina and Asiago which, along with Parmesan, Reggianito, Zotarella and so forth, make dairy products and cheese the category of the most falsified products. These are followed by wines, like Prosec and Bordellino, sauces like the hilarious pasta tutor, and cured meats such as mortadella, often used with locutions that exploit the vagueness of the typical term, bologna-type mortadella, names that ride the wave of the success of Italian-made food. One of the most imitated products in the world is Olio Evo. In this case, the misappropriation even involves the name. In leading English dictionaries, the acronym Evo flies under the American flag in the form Evo I.E. Extra virgin olive oil, while in Italy we consider it an entirely local word, since it refers to one of our country's products of excellence and was documented in Italian before other languages. A case like this clearly shows how learning about and scientifically reconstructing the history of Italian food words is one of the most effective strategies for creating a defense against food and linguistic faucets, and consequently regaining possession of the names, meanings and unique flavors that make up the wonderful table of Italian foods.